This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. Working on the generator this week, guys. Um, this is basically, I built a jig on top of a router that allows me to slide this shaft in and out so I can cut a circle. Or in this case, what I'm doing is I'm routing a groove wide enough for the magnet to sit down inside of this polycarbonate. So what I'll do is once I've got this routed, uh, it's on a saw blade. And if you haven't seen it, I'll see what I'm talking about here. This, this is the plate. And it's really thin. So the magnets are rated high enough that the thickness of the plate and the magnet is because it's a saw blade. I can encapsulate in a polycarbonate and a piece of plastic. Now I'll have to put a little resin to fill in these gaps in between the magnets, um, but I won't have to completely saturate it with resin in order to do this. So, because this is experimental, um, this this way I could actually pop these magnets back out of this configuration to use them for something else. And uh, the, the plate steel, I didn't have to have a plate manufactured. I just used two dull saw blades. So what's happening is the router's just thick enough to cut down into the polycarbonate. And you've seen this. I, I did it on this as well. So this is basically what I'm doing. You can see the magnets. I super glued them, and then I just poured resin in it. So, okay, this is what what I'm doing here so you can see it and then that fits right over the magnets perfect and now all I have to do is route this back piece of plastic the thickness of the saw blade and what I did is I marked this so I could line that up and then put a bolt with a countersunk head in between each one of these and then there'll, there'll also be three bolts on the clamp and on the spacer so this thing is not coming apart um, it's going to be running uh, 2000 rpm so I gotta be sure you know this is this, this crap's dangerous and you don't do it right you could end up hurting yourself so so I wanted to show you what I'm talking about here this is all put together from just scrap plastic the threads are the other direction unfortunately here we go so basically this is a pivot point in the router I also got this set up so I can put a saw blade and cut a wheel on this small wheel up to a foot so it's just a piece of blast uh, polycarbonate that came off the cart motor and two strips of, of polycarbonate to act as a spacer for this slide and then another piece screwed on there and then that's all screwed down to the cover and then obviously I have a clamp system that's just a bolt uh, tapped into this part here I can just slide it in go around again until I've got the two inches I need to sink the magnets in that plate and I'll route the back plate too so the saw blade itself will not no edge of the saw blade will be exposed it'll just be a plastic disc with basically a, a clamp on the back side of it and a spacer half the distance inside so when I slide that on the shaft both sides have the same spacer and they'll hit and that'll give me my spacing I need to keep these plates from rubbing the the coils the coil cover so so that's it right now I'll post some more videos this week I'm really trying to get this done though before I uh, get too heavy into this whole process. I want to finish the generator.
This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.